G'day, I found this uh, nice old VDO clock and connected it up to 12 volt supply and it works. It's quite an interesting mechanism in it um, and I'll show you shortly. Keeping time very well, it's been running for 24 hours and uh, showing with my other clock here. Spot on time, 4 minutes past 12. This clock got one of these oscillating balance wheel escapements uh, driven through a transistor and a couple of little magnets on the side. Plastic gear train. It's actually a pretty good timekeeper. It keeps once within a minute more or less over uh, the last 24 hours. I can see the hairspin. It's a bit awkward to get a good shot on the device, but um, yeah, some of the gathering wheels here. Very peaceful movement. Very quiet too. Just had it from a running start. I just had it from a stop position and it's now oscillating at a very low speed. It's not the correct speed. Hopefully it sorts itself out. Actually the clock is sideways so it's not super happy. Let's see if I'm going to do a start. I'm going to pick up from here. Probably not enough. No, I'll give it a bit of a push. The little orange coil that is working together with a transistor to try to get the oscillation going. I hope it's going to pick up. Sometimes these clocks need a little bit of a bump or sway. There you go. And it's back in business. These type of movements are probably made early 60s, mid to late 60s, before uh, crystal oscillators came in. And it's got quite a good uh, swing at the moment, and it's quite happy. Let's get out a bit so you can see how it's going. I've been playing around with some clocks at the moment. The other side of the coal is green copper. Very hard to get a good shot because the bracket is in the way of this uh, particular uh, clock support. 